Hey, what's up guys, Kevin here. So today we're doing another snowboard hike up in the mountains near Whistler. This is a new zone we're heading into. We're actually able to drive uh, most of the way up the mountain, leaving us a few hundred meters to hike. But excited to do this hike because we're able to save our legs for more snowboarding and hopefully get to the peak of this mountain. Oh man, we're gonna find wonder, mystery, majestic forests, and uh, yeah, overall, some good times, some surfy turns. Let's get it, man. Yoo-hoo! All right, guys, so we've reached the trailhead. We've managed to drive 1,350 meters up the mountain. And then behind us, we've got a wooded section, which I think is gonna be dry for the first half an hour. Then it's gonna turn into snow. We'll put our snowshoes on and then hike up the rest of the way through the woods and hopefully get into the Alpine fairly soon, within an hour or two. All right, so I got my poles. I actually brought gloves this time, which was a, a mistake that I made last time. I didn't bring gloves, so I'm stoked that I got those. Not gonna bring my regular glasses, just the old sunglasses. Nice, man. That way I don't have to swap around too much. You got those bright colors so I can find you. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we are making our way through the woods. Definitely the hardest part is just staying on the trail. Once the snow covers up the trail, it makes it almost impossible to stay on, but we have plenty of daylight left and it's gonna be easy once the trees start to thin and we're up into those more alpine sections. See how it goes from here? Yeah. And then I think we go up and into here. Okay. See how there's like this line that goes up into here? Yep. And then that'll lead us up into the Alpine. But see how this is kind of like open? Yeah. What do you think? Let's do it. All right, so we have entered into snowshoe mode. Andreas, how's the hike feeling so far? Oh man, feeling really good. Definitely an upgrade this week with the poles, having four points of access or contact to the ground. And then another upgrade was much better snowshoes this week, borrowed from our friend Chris. And guys, I'm testing out my new Arc'teryx backpack and it's feeling much better. On these long hikes through the woods, it's definitely good to have all the proper gear, just gonna make the whole experience more fun and enjoyable and keep us fresh for snowboarding. Andreas is trying to navigate us. <laughs> so wise. Yeah, guys, I've, uh, I've been out here once before last season and I'm trying to just remember where the trail was because when I was here, there was way more uh, bare bone dirt so you could see the trail versus right now, we're kind of guessing, but I think it's up that way. Yeah. See how there's like two spots there that kind of like- You want to go towards those spots? Yeah, well, I think that might be like bottoming out to a trail. Let's do it. As you guys can see, it is June 3rd, so we have a mix of snow and dirt patches that we're trying to clear. Andreas is walking like a tightrope. Yeah, use those poles. You got it, man. Yeah. Check this out, we got these little paw prints in the snow. I'm not sure where this little guy's at, but there's holes here in the dirt. That might be where he lives. Andreas, what do you think it is? I think it's half man, half bear, half pig. Or it could be a legendary Sam Squanch, otherwise known as Bigfoot. It was my goal today to meet a Bigfoot up here, so life goal, snowboard with Bigfoot. <laughs> All right, so we've made it up to the Alpine. We've got about another 45 minutes until the peak. Still a pretty tough hike, getting up through some of those areas, some steep stuff, having to snowshoe over the dirt. 
But now that we've gotten to the Alpine and it's open and there's less trees, I think the hike's gonna be much more straightforward. Andre, is he killing it back there, man? Yeah, man. I actually uh, got out of my snowshoes because it was so steep back there that it was a little bit cumbersome and I'd rather just be able to like foot plant. We're gonna make it to the peak? Yeah, dude, we're gonna get up there, man. I am so excited to finally make Summit. Let's go. All right guys, so we've made it to the peak. Such a grueling climb. The alpine section was just so steep, but it definitely paid off. The top of the mountain here is like a big dome. It's pretty incredible to be able to look out 360 degrees off the top of this mountain. All right, dude, this is where the fun part begins. Yeah, man. What's the plan to get down? Well, I think we're headed this way, but I just want to be super careful because I can't see the actual yeah. face. So I'm hoping that it's not like a drop off here. It's not a cliff. I'm hoping that it just sort of like rounds rolls. out and rolls. Yeah, guys, we're just going to take our time getting through here. Lots of terrain that we've never snowboarded before. So going to make a plan, stick to it, keep an eye on each other. And there's a blue pond way in the distance we're going to try to get to. That first part of the ride down was really fun. Just lots of really natural shapes, very rolly, some nice smooth gullies. The one thing making it difficult is not being able to see all the contours of the snow. And I think it's because of this flat light and also our first time riding through here. But we'll see what we can find on this next section. Guys, so we've ran into uh, a little stream here. A few rocks are clear. Oh no.
boom. Amazing, dude. So I think beyond here, guys, the riding is too choppy, too many trees and rocks. But that ride down was incredible, man. That was insane, exceeded expectations. Dude, amazing day. And yeah, guys, you know, like we've been doing a whole bunch of hikes this spring, but this was the first time that we actually got, you know, up into the Alpine and made it to the peak of the mountain. So we actually made it to the top and that felt pretty special as well. We just got this hike through the woods back to the car. I think that was definitely the best hike that we've done yet here in Whistler. Getting up into those alpine sections, having some wide open spaces for snowboarding and making turns was just amazing. And overall doing a hike like that is so rewarding. I think of all the hikes, we were the best equipped for that one as well. The new backpack really came through. We also both had poles, good snowshoes. I did break a pole, so I'll have to replace that, but overall, Huge success. If you guys haven't yet, I'll put a link to Andreas' channel where you can subscribe to his channel and check out his video from today. Sick day, brother. Dude, fantastic hike. And like I said, man, can't be complaining that we were snowboarding in June. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. Oh. If you guys like the video, make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe here to Snowboard Pro Camp because we're gonna be doing hikes like this all month of June. Thanks again for watching, guys. Have fun out there, and I'll see you in the next one soon. Oh man, I'm tired. You may now sit.